Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Phaser 3 game project template that we will be using in this series, Game Prototyping with Phaser 3. To access the project template, there will be a link on this video, and in the video description down below there will be two links. One that will be a direct download to the zip folder, the other will take you to a GitHub repository that contains all of the source code. In the second link, the repository will take you to the releases section where you can go ahead and download the basic template directly. Or if you're familiar with Git, you can also go ahead and fork the repo as well as the branches to go ahead and get access to the template. Once you've downloaded the project, you're going to want to go ahead and open that in your IDE of choice. For this series, I will be using VS Code, but you should be able to follow along with any IDE that you're familiar with. In the project, there will be a basic readme with the high level requirements for installing the project dependencies as well as how to run the project locally. And inside the package.json, it'll have the dev dependencies we need for compiling our TypeScript code as well as the phaser dependency. So one thing to know is for this series, we're going to be relying on phaser 3.55.2 as well as node 16 to run our code. You should be able to follow along with other versions of these frameworks and libraries. However, this is what's being used for this uh, series. So the first thing you want to do is after you download the project code, we need to install our project dependencies. To do that, you want to go ahead and go to your terminal and run yarn install. If you're using the npm package manager, you can do npm install, and this will also install your project dependencies. So for this series, I'll be referencing yarn. And I'll be referencing our scripts inside our package.json, such as yarn start, yarn build, but the equivalent of these in npm will also work. So if you do npm run start or npm run build, this should still allow you to follow along with the uh, video. Once you've installed your project dependencies, we'll go ahead and run our start script to go ahead and start our dev server and we'll view our code. So I'm going to go ahead and run yarn start. This is going to go ahead and spin up a port uh, dev server on port 3000. Go ahead and open it up. We just have a basic web page with our canvas element that's just gray. We'll see a basic title up on our page. And if we go ahead and take a look at our console, we're going to go ahead and see that we're running phaser 3.55.2. All right, and so we're just going to go ahead and do a quick overview of the project files and what they're used for. So the yarn lock file is the equivalent of the package-lock.json file that would be normally used by the npm package manager. This will go ahead and pen our dependencies and the exact versions we use when we install our project dependencies, so that way we can have a repeatable build. The package.json file will contain all of the dev dependencies and the project dependencies that we need for our working game as well as some useful scripts that we'll be using for linting our code, running the dev server, and then compiling our code if you want to host your game somewhere. The readme has just high-level details of how to run the server locally, where you'll want to write your code, how you can deploy the code, as how you can handle static assets as well uh, from our public folder. The index.html is just a basic HTML page that references our source code, and then it goes ahead and adds some basic CSS for styling. In our source folder, this is where we're going to write all of our code. Uh, so right now there's just a main.ts file that has the basic configuration for creating a phaser game. So we go ahead and create a basic phaser scene, and we put that in a class. We go ahead and create our phaser game configuration with some basic default values, and then we go ahead and pass it in our scene, and then we go ahead and create our game instance. Our public folder is where we're going to house any of our static assets. So right now there's just a git keep file in here so the folder structure will stay the same. Um, but this is where you can place your images, you can make a folder for audio, depending on whatever game you're working on. Uh, node modules is a dynamically generated folder uh, which will contain our project dependencies after we run that yarn install command. Finally we have our configuration folder. So our config folder contains our basic uh, ESLint configuration. So the project's up to use ESLint with Prettier, and this will go ahead and just run the rules um, based on this library here. And then our fight configuration, this is what controls the output of our bundle as well as our dev server. So we're running our code. And with that, that wraps up this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you are interested in more Phaser 3 content, 
or continuing the game prototyping with Phaser 3 series, there'll be some links on the screen that you can click for more content. Lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future content, please let me know in the comments down below.